Um, I, he, he also has a, a Link. I'm not sure who he's going to pull he, out in he, this matchup. He played yeah. uh, Link the first game against me. Yeah. So, so uh, he seems to be repping the uh, the Triforce boys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I call him TFH, but his, his full name is Triforce Hero. So right. he definitely loves uh, loves him some Legend of Zelda. Oh, yeah, he I also has this amazing uh, Legend of Zelda hat that I try and steal every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this is still a best of three set. And uh, Jinta, very aggressive. TFH, not so much. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. He's, yeah. he's more of a defensive player. Personally, in our set, I would have liked him to see a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more offensive with the options that he chose. I noticed he wasn't grabbing me. I was sitting in shield a ton, and he didn't. He wasn't taking advantage <laughs> of that grab. I yeah. know it's very punishable, but... Yeah. I, I, dude, I wish he wouldn't grab me when I play against him. Oh, <laughs> yeah, see. Uh, I'm, I'm Luigi, so I'll, <laughs> I'll run in and be like, all right, you're throwing a bomb at me, I'm, I'm a shield. He's all like, right. all right, now I got you. <laughs> but uh, Jinta doing a lot of damage really fast. Uh, as long as he can keep the pace of the match, like... In his favor, uh, I, I definitely feel like he can win this, and he's doing some funny things with that cape right now. He seems to be uh, pretty confident in this matchup yeah. right now. Uh, that being said, you cannot underestimate TFH and Toon Link. Uh, you can't. Yeah. One more bomb and a forward smash might honestly kill Mario. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then of course there are the very solid bomb confirms coming out. Unfortunately, Kill Confirm was yeah. not there. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was going to say, you can't trade with Mario's up smash. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you can. Normally doesn't work in your favor, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. Beast chasing him down to earn that grab. Okay, scouting a roll. That's something I've seen that TFH loves to do. Is to throw a bomb, run through your shield, trying to catch a roll outside of it. Here it is, mate. Well, I think that might just be how he likes to pressure. I've yeah. noticed that as well. Just going for the cross ups. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh, we live in, though. Jinta making the most out of this stock. He's like, I need about another 20% before I die. Right. Or that not. should be it, yep. Yeah. Cleaning out that stock pretty efficiently. Only 30% on him. Okay, it seems like Jinta Beast had an idea where TFH was trying to go with that roll, but he comes a little short. There he is again, <laughs> though. It's mildly entertaining to see a fat plumber chase down a small child. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't think he'd be able to get out there, but... Uh, All, uh, Luigi <laughs> wouldn't be able to. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> I'm just dropping bombs on him. That's one of the unfortunate things about playing Link and Toon Link is those bombs end up putting a lot of damage on you sometimes, too. Right. And it's like, while you have your own confirms, if uh, your opponent's paying attention, he can get a couple of free hits off a of bomb, too, so... At this percent, Jinta Beast is probably looking for an up smash, you know, a back throw, something along those lines. So TFH is going to have to definitely be aware of those options. Yep. Yeah. Just as I said. Calls out that roll on. Yep. And that's it's actually a really interesting option from TFH because Jinta was literally just standing there waiting. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> right. No, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes doing nothing puts so much mental pressure on your opponent. I, I don't... Uh, they're oh, okay. <laughs> they're they're doing some strange stuff over there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All right, but this is game two. Uh, again, this is still a best of three set. All right. So if Jinta wins this, he will be moving on to play against Makuta. But you know, TFH is hungry for that win. For sure. Yeah. Um, Loser gets fourth. Yeah. He's and he's looking uh, to make it into the money. Is it top three yeah, that pays? It out? is only top three. Uh, okay. We don't pay top uh, top four until we get like 40-ish players, and that's uh, it's kind of hard to do on a Tuesday night. I agree with that yeah. payout. But. Um, I believe the last time TFH and Bakuda played, uh, Bakuda did him kind of dirty. He just he picked Rosaluma and just destroyed him. Oh. And it, it was not pretty, so TFH definitely wants a little bit of revenge for that. True. Looking for that bomb run through uh, angle down boomerang once again. Yeah. Jinta, uh, very aware of it this time, though, and just jumping right. back airs. Yeah. Um, so, I don't want to say this, but because it's a little mean, but some people believe that uh, TFH plays very li linearly, and, uh, like, if you watch enough of his games, it definitely starts to show, mm -hmm. and I know uh, Jinten 
and TFH were playing a lot of friendlies today. Oh, so okay, so you might have to download, so yeah. to speak, right? Yeah, um, because we started uh, about a half hour later than we normally do. Uh, they got lots of friendlies in, in today, so. There's that bomb, angle down boomerang, yeah. once again. I like the dash attack to pick up a bomb. Uh, I was actually talking okay. to... Okay, nice conversion. Very nice. Two link things, right? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I was talking to Scat about the link and two link matchup. And I, I play Luigi. He's like, uh, it sounds silly, but dash attack is a solid tool in, in this matchup because it lets you pick up the bomb. Right. Yeah. Uh, this doesn't have to do with tune link necessarily, but KDK gave me some matchup experience with the Diddy Kong. And he said, you know, if you think you're going to throw the banana, you can just dash attack. Yeah. You know, similar things to just get those items off of you. Up a smash out of shield there. Man, I'm so jealous of Mario's shield sometimes. <laughs> it's like, oh, you can get hit and not slide all over the place. <laughs> right. Unfortunately, the other Mario brother does not have those luxuries. Yeah. That would make so many matchups so much easier. But, uh, you know, despite uh, Jinta kind of having TFH TFH's number, uh, this game is still very even. Very close. 1% separating the two players. Runs up and lands that grab. Yeah, much better uh, get up option that time. Just jumps up and throws the bomb straight down instead of going for the roll on into Jinta. I like how comfortable TFH is running through the opponent's shield, particularly Mario, who <laughs> could easily just, you know, up smash out of shield. Yeah, uh, as we said, like, uh, TFH a little bit linear, but he's definitely starting to change it up now instead of going for the, the cross-ups. Like, he'll throw the bomb and then stay in place. Oh. Ooh, up air. Okay, up air. Yeah. But TFH is managing to stay alive here. Unfortunately, could not connect that back air. Let's see what he's going to do. I'm sure he is fiending for this game right now. Yeah. He doesn't want to go down 2-0. Uh, that was actually a really scary thing. Like, Jinta shielded the, the bomb. It bounced off his shield, and then he ran into it. So even if you shield the bomb once, you just can't uh, uh, completely count it out. Also, uh, something completely unrelated. Did you see what happened when the flood hit the bomb and it just, like, flew away? That was kind of <laughs> cute. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And Jinta caught being a little bit too aggressive, trying to land oh. on top of TFH. Tied up. Yeah. And Jinta had a very solid lead uh, going into that. So, like, uh, this could definitely go either way this, this last game. It is Jinta's counter pick, though, so. Do you think TFH's playstyle is possibly uh, getting out, of uh, gaining an edge over Jinta Beast? Maybe putting him on tilt or something to a similar um, effect? I don't know. Jinta's a really happy-go-lucky guy, and you normally don't see him, like, go on tilt too much. Okay. Yeah. So I, I don't think that's it. But, again, like, towards the end, we saw TFH just changing the way he was playing and not going for the cross-up stuff. So, like, while he, we said he's very linear, he, he can change it up. Yeah. And when he starts to do that, like, uh, Jinta's conditioned to, you know, deal with the other stuff. Right. He starts to gain so a lot more ground. Okay. Yeah. I like attributing his win to the adaptation he's making. But right now, Jinta's like, hey, man, I got platforms. I'm going to play with them. Right. I did a similar thing when I, when I lost. I tried to go to Battlefield, give myself some escape options from all the projectiles that the two links able to throw out. In my set, he banned Lilat, so I, perhaps he might have done a similar... I'd uh, believe it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lilat is a rough stage. Right. Real quick, though, uh, <laughs> uh, another to bring up our set again, I actually banned Lilat our game, and he banned it again. I feel like he could have also banned Battlefield, because you know I didn't want to go to Lilat, yeah. so that's something... It's uh, true. Perhaps he'd like to think about it in the future. But, I mean, there are occasions where people will ban a stage that they like if, <laughs> if they don't like the matchup. Because I know against Scorcher, um, I actually banned Triplats when he, I thought he was playing Captain Falcon and he switched to Peach. And then in Game 3, I'm like, okay, you're playing Peach. I'm definitely going to Triplats right. now. Okay. So, okay. But. Okay. Cape into grab. Okay. The late hit of that dash attack. TFH seems to be getting grabbed quite a bit at the at the ledge, and when he tries to mix it up, he gets up smashed. Yeah. So it seems like uh, Jinta Beast knows a thing or two about conditioning his opponent. Or or a little thing about YOLO. Uh, true. <laughs> Depends on who you ask. It's Mario's up smash. <laughs> yeah. 
You know, he could always just do the ally stand in place and up smash that right. Punch, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I like to give the player some credit. <laughs> okay, these up airs though. Uh, I, I lost count at six. <laughs> I lost count at two. <laughs> <laughs> and Jinta is starting to run away with this match. Right. Shout out to Battlefield. Okay. TFH staying in this game though. Let's see how he's going to keep stage control. Oh, it just barely misses that. <laughs> Once again, missing that back air, but he lands the KO there at 174%. All right, TFH is definitely still in this. He can make up a lot of ground really fast. Right, but he's not going to want Jintabees to live as far as he just did. True. I feel as though if he lets him live that long, he won't have... Uh, much of a much of a chance in making a comeback. Yeah, but who knows? I mean, even on battlefield, Toon Link will still kill you pretty early. He just needs a solid hit to do it, and uh, something TFH doesn't always get. But right. he's going in with those bomb up up smashes. Right. And I mean, this game is already very close to even. Oh, he, he, he whiffed that grab. I definitely would have tried for an up smash, but... And Jinta has lost the lead. Oh, and that up air. TFH is going to go... Oh, that's, that's the end of this set. Yeah, loser time, he's still best of three. Oh, okay, I'm yeah. still getting used to the format, yeah. unfortunately.